standing on Higgins Boulevard in front of the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, Louisiana. This building is the Louisiana Pavilion. This is where we have our macro displays, which are airplanes, tanks, half tracks, jeeps, paraphernalia, and vehicles that they used in World War II. Come along. We're going to the museum. Well, what we have here is hanging from the ceiling uh, a C-47 aircraft, which was the major transport aircraft during World War II. We have a Spitfire, which is a British aircraft. We have an SPD Douglas Dauntless dive bomber, which was the main aircraft that was used flying off of the carriers in the Pacific. This is our Higgins boat. It's a landing craft. This is the main reason why the museum is here in New Orleans. Andrew Jackson Higgins, who had the Higgins Boat Company, built all of these boats here in New Orleans. He's going to start on the second floor. We'll go up the stairs. This is how we started World War II. The little soldiers represent about 600,000 people that were in the armed forces. To your left, you see the uh, Japanese, which was about four and a half million. And to your right is the Germans. Same about four and a half million people in the arms. As we walk into this area, we're going to go into what is known as the home front. This is where the war was won. This is where the people went to work in the factories to get everything needed that you need to fight a war. This is where we covered June 6, 1944, which is the big D-Day. It's, it's the invasion of Normandy. The, the biggest thing about the Normandy invasion, we had to keep it a secret. And we did some deception to keep the Germans guessing where we were going to be, and it was successful. American infantrymen, this was the German. We show the weapons that the Americans used, German weapons. This is a CG-4 glider, Waco glider. This shows the scope of the invasion. All of these depict the action that morning, uh, getting the troops ashore from the main transports, put the men into the little boats, and as you can see, they're all running towards the beaches right here. There was a lot of heavy and hard fighting between June 6, 1944 to May 8, 1945. This is our entrance to uh, what we call the PTO, Pacific Theater of Operations. Uh, that was fought mainly against the Japanese, and it was mainly uh, for the United States a Navy and Marine show. Uh, we did a different style of fighting in the Pacific. It was called island hopping. Theater of operations was the Pacific Ocean, which is 6,000 miles across. This picture shows the results of the uh, island invasions. It was to put our big main heavy bomber, the B-29s, on these islands so they could bomb the Japanese homeland. We first started out with incendiary raids on the Japanese homeland, and this created massive fires and burnt the Japanese cities to the ground. This shows the extent of the bombing on the Japanese homeland, the number of cities and the amount of destruction that we wreaked on the Japanese people. Even with all of this destruction, they still would not surrender. So uh, this led to us dropping the atomic bomb uh, on August 6th and August 9th in 1945 on two Japanese cities. Uh, after these two bombs were dropped, the Japanese then realized that they had no chance against this type of weapon and no defense. So this, it, it, it did end a terrible war, although it is a terrible weapon.